Michelle Nero. I obviously a lot of talk about Peter this week and everything that he went through. Um, not a busy game for him, but a tiny one. I just looked to see his performance. So. Yeah, I thought he looked really good. Uh, I thought he looked calm, confident, tough. Tough game, you know. You only get a few shots in that first period. Not a lot of work, and a couple of the shots he got were were tough saves there. Uh, and then all of a sudden, in the second period, things turned, and there was a lot more uh, really good looks for them. Uh, but I, I thought he looked, uh, probably looked really good. That was a great step for him. How about Mark Jordan's comfort level? His debut in the I thought, like you talk about his comfort level, my comfort level was high. You know, when, when he was out there and. Um, Puck got on his stick. Things things seem to settle down. He, you know, you can just tell he's he's a veteran. He knows how to play. He, you know, despite coming in, new teammates, new city, new system, all those kind of things. He's just confident and moving pucks, defending, getting in people's way. So I really liked his his play tonight. And, and uh, he's what makes the penalty kill uh, dangerous you know, the other end sometimes. Well, speed. Um, Speed, tenacity, it's a pressure kill. So we're applying pressure. We're putting people in bad spots, and our guys anticipate very well. It's all things that, that Dean talks about. And then, you know, it's the, it's the instincts of the players, the speed to close quickly, and then the skill level to make plays and finish plays. So uh, it's obviously huge today. I mean, we gave up. I think we gave up one officially on the kill, but really it was two. You know, I don't think Austin was back in the play but, you know, when that second one went in, but... Two huge goals, um, you know, shorthanded to make up for it. And those shorthanded goals are you know, big momentum swingers. And obviously, you know, that one Engvall's goal, double minor, I think there's seven and a half, eight minutes, whatever it is, left in the third there, double minor in a tie game. That, you know, put your team in a tough spot there. And PK was excellent. I don't know if we gave up a scoring chance and, and then had a couple of our own and, and made good on one. So I you know, really like that and made up for the fact you know, that our power play obviously wasn't good tonight. Five on five, the, the group defensively in front of Peter. I thought we defended well. I think mean, there's times in the second period where it opened up a little bit. Uh, we talked about this this morning, you know, with you guys that that New Jersey team has got a ton of skill. You know, when those guys, you know, when Hughes gets the puck on his stick, it's the game is slowing down and he's finding ways to make plays and finding people. Well, they got a lot of, number of other guys too that make plays and settle the game down. I thought <clears throat> they had the puck on their stick a little bit too much for us in the second. Um, but I thought we defended well as a group. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of shots coming at our net. Um, not a lot. You know, the, one of the things these, these guys do really well, as we talked about it again this morning, is the rush play, leaving their own zone and odd man rushes and breakaways and things like that. And that was a real focus for us tonight. I don't think we gave up any of that kind of stuff. So that was really good. Uh, it's important. And then... Offensively for us, we didn't have enough going on tonight. You know, they defended really well themselves. They took away our rush play, and uh, they defended their their zone very well. It was hard to really get pucks moving, get pucks off the wall, and, and all of that. They they competed well as a team today. So obviously, this is one that can go either way. I'm glad it worked out for us. Pierre Dano said he really appreciated being in the starting line. In fact, that ovation is something he's going to remember for a while. When you're doing something like that, are you hoping that it might create a an energetic buzz through the whole team, or is it simply just a gesture to him? Well, I think it's a bit of both. You know, we, we, we now it's at a starting lineup. I just say you know, it's a bit of a welcome home for him. You know, it's a great opportunity for for the fans to acknowledge him. You know, he's as much as he's coming here to play for the Leafs and all that. He's also a local guy that has had a very accomplished career. Uh, so I think it's a pretty special moment and. You know, not surprised that our fans recognize that. Obviously, we have a very intelligent uh, fan who knows what's happening, and, and they acknowledge that. So I was happy that he had that moment. How about Colin Blackwell's game? I thought he worked. I thought he did. You know, he shows what what he's going to be. He worked. He competed. I thought there was a couple of shifts that the, that line had some real energy and some some opportunities heading towards their net. Um, you know, power play penalty kill. I thought he looked comfortable there. So. You know, I thought it was it was it was good uh, good for him. I think he's a guy. Obviously, Jordano. We talk about the veteran uh, presence and all those things and the comfort level. I think Blackwell's a guy. I think is going to get better each time out, and it's going to take him a little while here. He's he's obviously not as established a player, and he's he's moved around uh, quite a bit in his career here, and he's found a new home now. Uh, I think he's going to continue to get better, but I did like pieces of his game tonight.